Hello and welcome to Technic. So I'm going to show you all you need to know about Technic, how to live the industrial lifestyle, and just basically generally showing you what's what in the Technic pack and what you can actually achieve. Um, so the first thing you really need to learn is all the different types of trees we've got in the environment. You'll see as soon as you log in, everything's really different. Um, and this is basically because there's a lot of mods in this game and it really affects you know what's actually available for you to play with um so if just looking over the landscape you'll notice lots of different things here we've got a bluey tree you've got the normal minecraft trees you've got these ones look a bit weird we've got like double thickness there's ones with pointy bits on um so what are these basically so over here uh, we've actually got I lost it over here this is a uh, rubber tree basically what we'll do is we'll use a tree tap on this and it will extract some resin we can then make that resin into rubber and make ourselves some cables um, very useful for uh, build craft and industrial craft that part of the mod um, over here I've actually planted a rubber sapling that's the uh, red power uh, this is my creatures this is a snake I'm going to take you down um, but yeah these these rubber trees take absolutely ages to grow, literally two weeks in Minecraft or a couple of hours actually playing Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, the rubber wood trees are absolutely massive. If this doesn't grow by the end of the episode, I will actually edit a, a, a picture of one in, just because it's you now convenient for you to actually see. Um, so if you see that on the screen now, you'll know that <laughs> we never managed to get one. Uh, there's also the blue trees are silver uh, silverwood trees is part of Thumecraft. Uh, it's a it's a kind of mysterious mod Thumecraft, um, and there's a lot of elements to it as well. Just like any of the mods, really, it's one of the more major mods in the Technic pack. And we can get all this. It'll also drop some saplings as well. So it's got some nice little animations to it. There we go, so there you go, silverwood log. And the other type of trees that we can find, uh, let me see if I can find one. Uh, yeah, these ones over here, these are great woods, great wood log. And the good thing about this is when you break the block down, if you want to use it for decorative purposes, the cat, um, when you place it down, it will give you, um, you know, a corner. So if you wanted to make, say, a television frame, you could do it with the corner pieces, um, and you can use it for that. Uh, this wood will also give you some sticks if you put it in your inventory. Uh, wooden planks, rather. You can get sticks off the uh, the rubber wood tree as well, or you can use a extractor to extract rubber directly from the actual log itself, which is a lot better than using it for sticks. Uh, so let's just have another little look around, see what else we can do. This doesn't actually do anything until we make another part of the Thumcraft mod, which will enable us to make like kind of enchanted wood, and then we can make ourselves some tools and things. Um, I really wish this would grow, um, because it's a really awesome tree. You know, it takes up a lot of room, um, but it is it is worth having those trees because you can get rubber straight away. Um, so like any game of Minecraft, you first need to grab some wood, bash it at a tree, no matter what game, what type of thing you play in Minecraft, you're going to need to do this. Um, we'll make ourselves a crafting table, and then we'll get, get going. So, let's put this into the crafting grid. Make some planks, make a crafting table, plop that down for now. Uh, we'll make ourselves a, let's, let's make an axe to begin with. Let's get rid of some of these trees that we don't need. Do -do. Um, so yeah, all these ones you don't really need because there's so many of them. Uh, I've actually got tree capitator installed as well. So. It's just chop, chopping them down in one go. Um, although that may be part of the Technic pack. Actually, I think it is. 
so you know it's it's convenient basically so you, know, you don't have to waste any time uh messing around so we just clear ourselves a little area and then we'll make ourselves a tree tap now this is in the shape of a tap like that so it's kind of like a I don't know really it's like an upside down T and a bit on the bottom left gives you a tree tap let's put these things in the main inventory um, so yeah find yourself a rubber tree the best way to identify these is by the little yellow dots on and they've also got two bits of leaf on the top um, it's kind of like a minimum of two unlike the normal trees that don't have any they've got kind of like a four a, like four kind of in a in a cross kind of shape these have just got two bits sticking up uh, this one here's got three so they're easy to identify they're most common in swamp biomes but they're, they're not exactly rare in other biomes it's just kind of like try and find your luck and see where you can find them really um, so yeah we're just going to right click on the little yellow pieces and that will give us some resin just click on it until it doesn't do any more sounds uh, take off a few of the leaves see if we can find any more no, there's no more spots on that one. Um, but what we can actually do later on is when we get an extractor, we can uh, just chop it down and then put it in the extractor and get rubber out of it that way. Uh, hopefully this tree will grow, which will make it a lot easier in the meantime. Uh, but this way is good because you've got to learn the basics before you can get to the more advanced things. So let's have a look for some more resin. Need a couple of bricks to put around the tree so I can get to a better height. See if we can get any more. Doesn't look like it. Uh, you can actually uh, leave the trees as they are and the resin will grow back. It will uh, respawn, so, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, let's find ourselves another tree. We'll use that one. That's not a rubber tree, there's one here, there we go. There's one, right, so just give it a right click. Nothing else is coming out of that. That's a bit there. Any more for any more? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Uh, let's take this tree with us and then we can, hopefully we get some saplings from it. And then we can uh, grow some more as well, which is always good. Let's go up, get the rest of this, use a bit of the wood, use, use my axe, right. So yeah, Swift Wolf Rending Go is what I'm using to fly about, and it uses Mobius fuel or some other fuel. And my uh, nano saber is using uh, power that when I uh, actually charged out when I made it. So I've got as long as that lasts, basically. Got lots out of that, five bits then. Another three out of that bit. Yeah, the, the average amount is kind of between two to, th two to five pieces, so... Uh, you generally know you're going to get some. So, any more? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's have a little fly around so we can find another one. Uh, good thing, yeah, good thing about these silver woods. You know, it gives off ambient light, so you can always set up a little bed nick next to it. Let's just see if any of those rubber trees have dropped any saplings. So it would be very helpful if they did. There's one. There's a couple. Sweet. So we can just plant these up. These grow like any normal any normal tree. And the good thing about these is you can use bone meal on them as well, so it's uh, a lot easier to grow these ones than the, the great the uh, great big rubber wood trees. Um, so even though that looks really weird, you can leave it as it is, and it will grow the resin back eventually. Um, 
two, yes, I'm just trying to find that one I cut down. Uh, anyway, we've got, we've got enough saplings for now, that's fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will be a good series for you guys to watch and you'll enjoy learning about all the different things in the Technic Pack. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Next time we'll have a look at some of the ores you can find down below and um, lots of the Zoomcraft uh, Vs crystals and all sorts of things like that. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.